Hello everyone and welcome to Apps Garage. Today we will be working on the interior. I will be installing this A pillar switch panel instead of the wires dangling here and I will be extending them because they're short using this 14 gauge stranded wire. You want to get stranded so you can bend it easier than the solid. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, some quick connects, and wire stripper. Let me get everything set up and I'll be back. Stay tuned guys. Alright guys, so now I'm inside the Jeep. And in order to put the panel here, we, we have to take this bolt. And this clip, for some reason, someone decided to put a clip instead of two bolts. This one on top. And the two torques located on the visor. Right here and right here. And then, this A-pillar should be free. Alright guys, so now this piece is out. The only thing you have to take out is the clip located at the bottom here, a bottom hole. And that's the only thing that that's holding it. And there's this Christmas tree clip. You just have to push down on it. It's a very simple process. All right. So with this out, I think this should just pop out or slide out. Alright, this, whew, yeah, it pops out, you want to be careful, I almost broke mine, but, nevertheless, it's out, it's held in by clips, and, it sits like this, and these, it, it actually pulls out, yeah, you can see the, these two clips here goes go in here and in here all right so now this is out i'm going to be taking care of the wiring extending these three wires and these three wires i'm going to be running them underneath the dash all the way until behind this cover which is easy take off going to be feeding them through here and up to the switch panel this should be easy all right stay tuned guys it took me some time to figure out how to wire the switch because it doesn't have any markings on it and i ended up burning up a fuse all right so your white, your white wire is a signal, and that basically turns on the small LED light when you turn the switch on. <clears throat> this goes to the first terminal right there, right here. The red one is your power. It goes right next to the signal wire, and the last one to the, on the far right, that's your ground wire. First time I connected ground power and signal and it blew the fuse so this is how you want to connect it all right so now since I know how to wire everything up I'm gonna be extending wires separately and then connecting everything up stay tuned guys thank you I have connected these quick connectors to the original wiring harness and I made like a wiring harness. It's got three wires taped together. I made two because I'm extending two wiring harnesses. 
Here's one, and here's the other one right here. So I'm gonna be connecting them here, feeding the wire underneath this piece here, all the way to the switch panel right there. Stay tuned. All right guys, so once you have your wires passed through and all ready to be connected, one thing you wanna remember is that you will need this clip. You need to transfer it from the old piece to the new one. And it's so simple, you just, you just, I mean, open it a little bit, pull it out, and then pop, pop it on the new one. So I'm gonna do that, and then we're done. Just have to wire the switches. And I will sit like that. I'll put the trim back. And after that, I'll show you the final results. Thank you guys. All right, guys, we are done. Here's the final result. All right, guys, we are done. Here's the final result. Looks great, looks neat. There's no need for unnecessary wiring. Just laying down everywhere with a little bit of time of money. It looks amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.